In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NHL games happening on April 15, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Winnipeg Jets vs. Florida Panthers The Winnipeg Jets face the Florida Panthers in a matchup between two red-hot teams hoping to end the season strong. The Jets have a 35-28-11 record but with back-to-back -back wins, have put themselves in a position to make a push for the playoffs in the Western Conference. The Panthers have a 52-15-6 record and with an 8-game winning streak, boast the best record in the Eastern Conference and hope to win the President's Trophy with the best record in the NHL. The Florida Panthers get set to host the Winnipeg Jets with an overall record of 52-15-6. This mark places them first in the Atlantic Division. Through 73 games, the Panthers have scored 305 goals, giving them an average of 4.14. This output gives them a rank of first among NHL teams. On defense, Florida is the 13th ranked unit, giving up 2.9 goals per contest. So far, the Panthers have played the 29th toughest schedule in the league. And, when taking into account Florida's scoring margin relative to the quality of their competition, they come in with a power ranking of first in the NHL. The Winnipeg Jets come into this road contest with an overall record of 35-28-11. Through 74 games, the Jets are sixth in the Central Division. On the season, they have found the net 230 times, good for a rank of 16th among NHL teams. Heading into the game, Winnipeg is the 20th-ranked defensive team, allowing opponents to score at an average rate of 3.08 goals per game. So far, the Jets have a strength of schedule rating of 20th in the league. When diving into their opponent-adjusted scoring margin, they come into this game as the 19th-ranked team in the NHL. The Jets are 5-1 in their last six road games and 1-8 in their last nine Friday games. The Panthers are 43-9 in their last 52 home games and 38-14 in their last 52 overall. The over is 5-2 in Jets' last seven road games. The over is 33-15-4 in Panthers' last 52 overall. The favorite is 11-5 in the last 16 meetings. The road team is 4-0 in the last four meetings. Florida has been hot, winning eight straight games. They have scored four goals or more in seven out of the last eight games. The Panthers have been incredible at home this season, going 31-6 at home, and they have won eight straight home games. Florida scored three goals or more in 20 straight home games while going 18-2 at home in that span. Jonathan Huberto leads the team with 105 points. He is second in the league in points and first in assists. Alexander Barkov has 80 points in 60 games played. Winnipeg ranks 18th in goals against per game and 24th in shots against per game, and they will struggle against the best defense in the league. Winnipeg comes into this game injured with Blake Wheeler and Mark Schaefer both going on the injured list as of April 11th and April 12th. Without these two scorers, we see Florida coming away with another victory on the season at home. Florida is red hot and they will take care of business here today. So the Florida Panthers' money line is our full game side pick. Both teams have been led by their offenses and both teams look to pile on the goals throughout the game. The Jets, who average 3.08 goals per game, should find the back of the net throughout the game with Kyle Connor. Pierre-Luc Dubois and the rest of the forward unit creating open shots by the face-off circles and overwhelming the Panthers' defense with great puck movement throughout the offensive zone. The Panthers, who have scored 30 goals in the last six games, should run up the score with Anthony Duclair. Jonathan Huberto, Sam Reinhardt, and the rest of the forward unit crashing the net on the rush and creating open shots with great puck movement in the offensive zone while Mackenzie Weger and Brandon Monter generate shots from the blue line to pick apart a Jets defense that allows 3.08 goals per game. Florida scored four goals or more in 16 out of the last 20 home games. Jonathan Huberto leads the team with 105 points and he is second in the league in points and first in assists. Alexander Barkov has 80 points in 60 games played. Winnipeg ranks 18th in goals against per game and 24th in shots against per game and they will struggle against the best defense in the league. The Jets scored three goals or more in six out of the last 
last nine games. Kyle Connor leads the Jets with 85 points on the season and he has one point or more in seven out of the last 10 games. He is tied for fifth in the league with 42 goals. Mark Schiefel has one point or more in nine out of the last 10 games and he has two points or more in five out of the last 10 games. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. New York Islanders versus Montreal Canadiens. The New York Islanders face the Montreal Canadiens with both teams heading in opposite directions to finish the season. The Islanders have a 34-30-9 record and still have a slim chance of sneaking into the playoffs while the Canadiens have a 20-43-11 record and have lost the last three games. The Islanders hope to finish the season strong and possibly sneak into the playoffs while the Canadiens hope to avoid finishing with the worst record in the Eastern Conference and end the season on a high note. The Montreal Canadians will try to snap a three-game losing skit after a 5-1 loss to the Columbus Blue Jackets in their last game. The Montreal Canadiens get set to host the New York Islanders Islanders with an overall record of 20-43-11. This mark places them eighth in the Atlantic Division. Through 74 games, the Canadians have scored 193 goals, giving them an average of 2.57. This output gives them a rank of 28th among NHL teams. On defense, Montreal is the 32nd ranked unit, giving up 3.8 one goals per contest. So far, the Canadians have played the eighth toughest schedule in the league. And, when taking into account Montreal's scoring margin relative to the quality of their competition, they come in with a power ranking of 31st in the NHL. The New York Islanders will try to find some consistency after alternating wins and losses in each of their last six games following a 6-3 loss at the hands of the Pittsburgh Penguins last time out. The New York Islanders come into this road contest with an overall record of 34-29-9. Through 72 games, the Islanders are fifth in the Metropolitan Division. On the season, they have found the net 200 times, good for a rank of 25th among NHL teams. Heading into the game, New York is the fifth-ranked defensive team, allowing opponents to score at an average rate of 2.69 goals per game. So far, the Islanders have a strength of schedule rating of 28th in the league. When diving into their opponent-adjusted scoring margin, they come into this game as the 20th-ranked team in the NHL. New York is 6-1 in their last seven games against the Eastern Conference and 4-0 in their last four games when their opponent allows five goals or more in the previous game, while the over is 9-1 in their last 10 games as a road favorite. Montreal is 8-22 in their last 30 home games and 7-19 in their last 26 games against the Metropolitan Division, while the over is 7-3-1 in their last 11 games against a team with a losing record. On the season, the New York Islanders Islanders have an even scoring differential. However, on the road, the team's scoring differential turns negative at minus 0.47. Heading into their game with the Montreal Canadiens, the Islanders have a 3-2 record over their past five contests. In these games, they have scored 14 goals, accounting for 45% of the overall scoring. Over this stretch, the team has managed to play above .500 hockey, despite scoring more than their average of 2.69 goals per game just two times. On the other side, the Montreal Canadiens have a per-game scoring differential of minus 1.23. Things haven't gone any better at home, as they are losing home games by an average of minus 1.41 goals. As the Montreal Canadiens get set to take on the Islanders, they have a below .500 record over their past five games going 1-4. During this stretch, they have scored 15 goals, accounting for 41% of the scoring in these contests. If the Canadians hope to break out of their slump, they need to pick up their offensive play. During this stretch, they have outscored their average of 3.81 goals, just two times. I get the case to be made for both sides in this game as the Islanders need the win, but their playoff chances are also slim and Montreal is running out of chances to get wins for the hometown fans that have put up with so much so far this season. With that said, New York's playoff hopes are on life support, but they're still going. Meanwhile, any positive thing that happens for Montreal likely hurts their draft positioning. Look for Montreal to struggle on offense versus a tough Islanders defensive unit. So the New York Islanders money line is our full game side pick. Coming into this game, the Islanders have an over-under record of 34 to 36 to 1. However, when playing on the road, the over has fared better, going 20 to 16. On the season, 49% of New York Islanders games have gone for at least six goals or more with 48% of the scoring coming from the Islanders. In Montreal's 74 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 41-31-2. to So far, taking the over when the Canadians are playing at home has been a good bet with an over-under record of 18-16-1. In the season, 62% of Montreal's games have gone for at least six goals or more, 
With 41% of the scoring coming from the Canadians, the Islanders have been carried by their defense and both defensive units look to step up and limit two struggling offenses. The Canadians should limit an Islanders offense that averages only 2.75 goals per game with Alexander Romanov, David Savard, and the rest of the defensive unit creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net. The Islanders, who allow only 2.69 goals per game, should eliminate and potentially shut out a Canadian's offense that scored only five goals in the last three games with Adam Pelech, Noah Dobson, Ryan Pulock, and the rest of the defensive unit forcing turnovers in the neutral zone and defensive zone while goaltender Semyon Barlamov steps up and blanks shots on the net. This will be a low-scoring game with both defenses stepping up. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.